Fresnel shading. Take a look at the scene Shaders-53. A Fresnel shader adds a rim light to the edge of geometry. In this example I've added three new properties. The rim colour, rim power and rim width. So far the new properties are not being used in the surf function. Let's add some code. Enter float rim equal max zero underscore rim width minus saturate dot o dot normal normalize in dot view dir. To calculate a rim light we can make use of something that comes as standard with a surface shader. The view direction in world space. View dir. Here we get the dot product of the normal we have just set using the texture. Using the saturate function ensures the value is clamped between 0 and 1. Remember that the dot product of the normal and the view direction is going to give 1 when they're in line and 0 when they're at right angles to each other. We want the opposite of this, 0 when they're in line and 1 when they're at right angles. So we subtract the result of the saturate operation from rim width and then make sure the value is not less than zero by using the max function. To see the result in unity we need to do something with the rim variable that we've calculated. Enter o.emission equal underscore rim colour dot rgb times pow rim underscore rim power. We take the rim colour and multiply it by the rim value raised to the power rim power and set this as the emission value. Emission is the colour to set for a pixel that ignores lighting calculations. It emits light rather than receiving light. Now you have a useful rim light shader. You can easily adjust it using the properties. But what about an object that reflects light? This video comes from my Unity Shader course. Get the full course for a great discount by following this link. See the description for a link to the resources.